in this video i'm going to show you how to gain experience through shadowing or paid internships especially if you're in the uk i'm going to show you how to book online and in-person events and interact one-on-one -on -one with training institutions this is open to both those in the uk and overseas i'm going to show you how to find trainings that offer visa sponsorships and pays salaries and i'm also going to show you how to find courses offering bursaries and scholarships and lastly i'll show you the government approved phone number to call if you have any further inquiries if you don't even want to call them you can also chat them up directly everything is there hello hello it's your girl chi and you're welcome to chi on demand thank you for tuning in guys i appreciate all the support thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for watching my videos and uh, if you're a new subscriber let me know in the comment section so that i can give you a special shout out without wasting much time let's get right into it so i recently uploaded a video about the uk paying overseas workers who had no experience whatsoever a heavy amount of money to relocate to the uk to come work and all that uh if you haven't watched that video i'll put the link up there for you to be able to access it so in this video we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step guide on how to access these funds and how to get paid while still in training in other words you're a student but you're still getting paid a salary like have you ever seen that happen it only happens in the uk get paid while you learn so i sent this video to my family and friends who watched it and they were also interested and and they sent me so many questions about how do they get these bursaries and scholarships how do they apply for the salaried trainee courses they were very interested in that one i mean who wouldn't uh how do they get the bursaries how do they get this how do they get that i thought okay maybe i should do a step-by-step -step guide on how to do these things and that is what this video is about so one bonus tip for you on this video today is that while doing this research i called the number and i spoke with them over the phone and uh, they told me categorically that you like applicants will not be spending anything like even down to the naric certificate that you're going to be uh using the government is going to be paying for that assessment so you don't need to pay for anything to apply for these courses or these trainings all you need to do is just get your undergraduate degree which you already have and go ahead and apply the first thing i'm going to be showing you today is how to get uh experience through shadowing let's say you're a trainee you've never had uh, experience teaching before and you want to feel it you want to go do some teaching to see if it is even something that you like or you're an undergraduate who would like to do a paid internship in teaching to know if it's something you'd also like to do this is what i'm going to be showing you uh if you go on this website i'm going to link it down in the description as well it says uh steps to become a teacher tied who to teach and uh, it has it actually has five steps so which is pretty easy just five steps <laughs> to become a teacher the first one says decide who to teach over there you say get school experience or attend events to see which of the following settings suits you and uh, the last paragraph also says if you're an undergraduate and interested in teaching chemistry computing languages maths or physics then you could do a paid teaching internship to find out if teaching is right for you so like i said before if you want to get experience just to know if teaching is right for you that is what i'm showing you now so if you click on this first link get school experience you see it here it says you can visit schools to get unpaid experience in the classroom before you start your initial teacher's training it can help you decide if you want to train to be a teacher it, uh, it can help you discover which setting you like to teach whether primary or secondary and it will also help you build relationship with the school you might want to work for later so uh I'm not going to dwell on it too much so let's move very quickly and uh, if you click on the paid teaching internship it says if you are studying for a degree and interested in a career in teaching an internship could help you to understand what it's really like in the classroom you get experience you get to experience a range of activities to help you get a feel for life internships last three weeks starting june and you'll be paid 300 per week so I think this is good for anybody who wants to gain that experience whether shadowing or anything like that um this 
is this is the right website to come and check what is available for you so the uh the other one is uh check your qualifications learn about funding find the right training apply for your course it's as simple as that voila you're a teacher in the uk so uh anyways let's move on to the next one the next one i said we're going to be looking at is how to attend events so it's still going to be on this same website to click on attend events and it shows you all the various events that are coming up you have the get into Ch teaching west midlands this is an in-person event you have uh this one in Yorkshire, it's also an in-person event. And you have this one by training provider in person. And you have this one online, online as well. So these are training providers and you can, you know, attend any of these events from wherever you are. Some of them are sponsored by the Department for Education. So you click on whether in-person or online and search for the training you want to attend so that you can have a one-on-one -on -one interaction with these people and ask them all the many questions that you'd like to ask them so yeah that is it for events let's move on to the next one so now we're going to be looking at how to find trainings that offer visa sponsorships and pays salaries guys if you've gotten value from this video so far please give it a thumbs up so that youtube can push it out to more people and if you haven't please subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every time i put out information like this i do this every single week and you don't want to miss out on it so i think this is the one that everyone is dying to know <laughs> so for this one we're going to be using this website it's still the same getting to teaching the government websites bursaries and scholarships so uh it says you may be eligible for a bursary or scholarship when training to teach these are tax-free amounts of money you receive to train in certain subjects you do not need to pay them back so what this is trying to say is that this money will not be taxed if they say twenty seven thousand is twenty seven thousand pounds if they say it's twenty nine thousand is twenty nine thousand pounds that is awesome honestly so um uh it says here what funding could i get for teachers training choose the subject you want to teach so over here you can select whatever you want to teach is it primary with mathematics so is it secondary it's like so many different options for you to choose from uh these are postgraduate bursaries and scholarships so now it says you can see all the subjects you can receive bursaries and scholarships for biology 20,000 chemistry 27,000 scholarship of 29,000 you can either receive a bursary or a scholarship you can receive both when you are a trainee so you should know that for sure <laughs> the bursaries um it said for you to be eligible for a bursary you need to have like uh, a bachelor's degree uh of 2-2 honors or low or higher a master's degree a phd that is all right for the scholarship is degrees two one uh, masters so so yeah this is just the general page however when you want to find these courses this is where to come this is where to find your training courses this is the page you click on start now and it says find courses by location or by training provider you're going to click on across england because you're looking for all but if you have a particular city or town that you're looking for you can put that there uh it says which age group do you want to teach primary or secondary if we click on secondary anyone you want to choose though you just click on it it says which secondary subjects do you want to teach so these are all the various subjects and under each subject it tells you the um the bursary amount available ancient greek twenty five thousand. see biology for twenty thousand there's chemistry scholarship chemistry has both scholarships and bursaries you can see there computing design and technology english even english there's french there's geography so yeah so you can see all of this and uh, let's say we are going with uh let's say we're going with physics say we want to teach physics <laughs> can you remember physics though <laughs> so yes you click on physics it opens up it's telling you 709 courses found these are training courses and some of them are going to be paying you a salary while you train 
so if you look at this left uh, side you can click on whatever filters you want to apply so uh, here it says visa sponsorship so let's say you want visa sponsorship sponsorship you're going to click here and uh, you're going to click on apply filter so it says 188 courses found so if you're looking for uh visa sponsorship to come in and teach physics or chemistry and physics or whatever there are 188 training providers or courses ready for you all you need to do is click on each one and apply to them if you also want a salary say salary only show courses that come with a salary so we can click on salary and apply the filter and it says two courses found but if you remember, that's because we have both visa sponsorship and salary. So if you want both visa sponsorship and you want salary too, these are the two courses available for physics. If we click on visa sponsorship to take it out and say only salaries, let's say how let's see how many courses. 86 of them are paying a salary if you don't want if you don't want a visa. So, and that's why you can see here, visas cannot be sponsored and all that. But for the ones that okay let's try to see only the ones that can that offer visas let's say no salary just visas 188 courses yeah we saw that before and you can see here it says student visas can be sponsored student visas can be sponsored student visas can be sponsored and this goes for all the subjects so whatever subjects you want to do whether primary whether secondary this is where you have to come to to you know look for what you're you don't need to pay anybody money you know in this journey of moving abroad you have to be street smart you have to be wise because there are so many scammers out there don't give anybody money unnecessarily try to do things for yourself if you can because we all have it in us to do things for ourselves it's when we feel like we can depend on the next person that's when we just depend on them and then they might you know take us for a fool or and scam us or something so please uh be careful you can do all of this to yourself it's on the government website i'm going to put the link down in the description as well so uh the last one i'm going to be doing is showing you the government approved phone number to call or chat directly for further inquiry so if at all you need something from somebody or you want to ask questions this is who you're going to call you're not going to call all these random people that that are thieves <laughs> uh, okay so the phone number to call is still on this page that says that says steps to become a teacher if we go down the page we're going to see like it says talk to us live chat is closed because it's late already i think time right now is 7 35 while i'm filming this 7 35 pm so they are closed for the day uh they are open monday to friday 8 30 until 5 30 and then this is the phone number if you want to do a phone call if it's not going to cost you too much to do a phone call i will advise you to do a phone call but if it's gonna cost you too much let's say you're overseas and it's gonna cost you too much just do a chat they're very lively they're very friendly the person that attended to me was very patient he took his time to you know go through everything everything i'm showing you right now he was the one that showed it to me you know see there's even get free one-to-one -one support whether it's just an idea or you're ready to apply you could get personalized support from an advisor with years of teaching experience chat to them by phone email tell and it says get an advisor so the government has you know given you all you need in terms of support so you don't need to reach out to anybody you don't need to you know give anybody your money to help you do anything if you need support come here there's a live chat there's a phone number and there's a free one-to-one -one support from an advisor so guys what do we need again what are we waiting for what are we waiting for so uh go ahead uh do these applications i'd love to hear your success stories okay basically the uk is enticing teachers and 